Also tonight, the Virginia Beach Police Department is finally talking about morale amongst the ranks. The work environment has a lot of employees talking, and now the mayor is also putting in his two cents. Yesterday, we shared the dozens of pages of scathing comments by officers and other employees about the department's leadership and how it's affecting their jobs. Officials have kept silent for several days. Now, to know your side's Jason Marks has the other side of the story. Jason? Nicole, there's now an understanding amongst city leaders and high-ranking police officials that there is an issue. They will all but say it stems from a lack of morale. But what the chief is planning on doing shows there's something wrong in his department. I do believe there was a slowdown. For the first time, Virginia Beach officials are publicly confirming a protest held by officers did indeed happen over Memorial Day weekend. It was caused by a lack of morale and feeling a lack of leadership. To sit back and say they're in a little smoke here and we need to address it, yes, I'd be, we'd be foolish not to do that. But to sit back and tell you that I am concerned about the performance of our police department period right now, no, I'm not. The protest resulted in 700 less arrests and tickets than the previous Memorial Day weekend. Officers say they don't feel as if Chief Jim Severe supports them and they wanted to send a message. I believe our officers are still proactive. Uh, certainly the numbers show that, that maybe they decided to, to slow down a little bit, and I, I understand that. At the same time, all the citizens' needs were met. All the calls for services uh, were answered. The chief has refused to get on camera to talk about the issues, so 2nd Precinct Captain Sean Adams did that for him. Uh, it's difficult to keep in an organization as long as we are. It's difficult for everybody to be happy all the time. I will just tell you, we do the very best job we can to keep the lines of communication open. Adam says he meets with his officers once a month to hear what they have to say. The chief is now taking a page out of Adam's book. Severa told me last week he needs to do a better job of communication. You know, I don't agree with it at all. It all falls on the chief. Certainly the chief is the, dis is the decision maker. Uh, certainly he's, he's the one that has to bring these issues forward and address them but I think he's doing the best he can to try to do that. I and the chief is doing something. A short time ago, I talked with the president of Virginia Beach Police Union who met with the chief last week. He tells me in June, on June 15th, the chief is having a town hall meeting with the officers to clear the air. He is also working on making sure officers can feel comfortable coming to him with issues. And lastly, he's setting up a panel made up of street officers who will review cases of standard force. The officers will decide if the case falls in within the, the department's policies and whether to send it to an internal investigation. Ten on your side has been there since this story broke and will continue to keep on top of it for you. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.